Hello, Calvin Jones here with the Park Tool Company. We're going to look here at a safety check on some basic kids' bikes to see if they're safe. Hmm. New or used, we're worried about safety, not so much performance. We're gonna try and be systematic and work our way through the bike. So we're gonna start up front simply, grab the end of the handlebars, grab the front tire, I twist back and forth, Cannot move the stem. Stem must be adequately tight. You're gonna grab the handlebars again. I push back and I pull forward really hard. The bars are not moving. The bars are not twisting. So this seems to be okay. While you're here on the grips, twist the grips. They're on firmly. These seem nicely positioned. So up front, we seem pretty good to go. Here, grab the front. Grab the bars, twist, twist, moves easily. Very loose, not good. Next, push back on the bars. That's bad. We're loose and we're loose. Start by aligning the stem. Check the security of that bolt. That's good. We come to the front. We tighten in a cross pattern, always going over the bars. That's good. Grips seem good. Front end, done. We're gonna see if the tires seem reasonable. Squeeze, they do seem inflated. We check around the bead, they do seem properly seated. We want to see the rear is also fully inflated. Are these wheels tight to the frame? We get a wrench out. Yes, that's tight. Yes, that's tight. Tight, tight. With the wrench like this, we're pulling on both sides, so we only need about 20 pounds of effort at the end of the wrench to get that tight. On here, the tire does seem low, so that might be a slow leak. It just might need air. The tire does look good. There's no cracking. The tread looks good, but definitely low on air. The rear one seems fine. Good pressure, bead seated, good tread. Wheels, put a wrench on it. Oh, definitely loose. So we go and check all other nuts. At the back end, we're gonna grab the saddle, pull up and down, it doesn't move. Left to right, it doesn't move. Saddle must be tight. Down to the chain, a slight bit of play. There's no way that's coming off, so that's a safe chain. Are the pedals on tight? We put a wrench on. We pull up here again, about a 20 pound effort on this long wrench will do the job. On this bike, the saddle, grab it, we pull up and down, seems okay. Left, whoops, left to right, that's loose. Straighten it up, this isn't moving, this was moving. We come up here with the wrench. Now it's not moving, this isn't moving, this isn't moving, that's done. Next, we check the chain, in this case, really loose so loose it could come disengaged from the ring. If the coaster brake was the only brake, very critical. This is also slowing as well as going. Pull back, takes up the slack, secure. Also secure the secondary nuts. Ready to go. Check the pedal. This one is loose. Here, this bike also has a rear brake. Grab it and pull. The lever doesn't come to the grip, so it seems to be pulling adequately. We come back to the pads. The pads are hitting the rim. They're not hitting the tire. They're not hitting below, and they're centered. The rear brake seems okay. On bike frames, it's good to look for problems, especially on a used bike. Look for bent tubing or cracks at the welds we inspect all the welds, they seem okay. The fork welds seem okay. Frame's probably in good shape. Kids deserve a safe, reliable bike, so take the time to give it a systematic inspection before the rubber hits the road. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.